hypothyroidism is a condition where there is an excess production and secretion of thyroid hormone from the thyroid gland. It occurs more commonly in females than in males, with some sources quoting 8 to 10 times more commonly. The signs and symptoms can be remembered with the mnemonic sweating. The S actually stands for sweating, which refers to excessive sweating. For example, sweating when you are not exercising or sweating at random times. Next, we have W for weight loss, which occurs due to the increased metabolic rate generated by the excess thyroid hormones activity. Linked to weight loss, we can also have muscle wasting. E stands for edema, which can be pitting and affecting the lower limb in some instances, but may also be myxedema, which is non-pitting. In this case, there is deposition of mucopolysaccharides such as hyaluronic acid in the dermis, resulting in swelling of the skin. This finding may be seen commonly in severe hypothyroidism, but when found pretibially, is linked to hyperthyroidism, specifically Graves' disease. E also stands for exophthalmus, meaning an outward protrusion of the eyeball, which itself can also be due to myxedema behind the eyeball. In Graves' disease, this is often bilateral. E can also help us remember emotional ability, often involving anxiety, depression, mood swings, and concentration issues. We then have A for an increased appetite, as well as for atrial fibrillation, which can be caused secondary to hypothyroidism. T stands for tachycardia, which ties in with atrial fibrillation, and T also stands for tremors, which are typically high frequency but low amplitude. Next we have I, which includes intolerance of heat, again due to the increased metabolic rate, as well as irregular menstruation, such as amenorrhea, or even oligomenorrhea, where menstruation is less frequent. I also covers irritability. N reminds us of nervousness, and often also restlessness and the inability to sit still. We then come to G, which helps us remember a goiter, which is a swelling in the neck coming from a swollen thyroid gland, and gastrointestinal disturbances, most commonly diarrhea, but can also include nausea, vomiting, and steatorrhea.